Well, good day everyone. Hope you're having an awesome spring so far. We had snow and a little, actually a little bit of snow and hard frost yesterday, but it's all gone. Um, so if you saw my last video, you noticed that we got a lot of free blueberry bushes. And today is the day that I'm going to start planting some of them in. It's supposed to rain today. It's been super high winds the past few days, so hopefully my mic doesn't pick up all that wind noise. But anyways, past two days I've been down here with the tractor scooping up all the thick quack grass. I actually had this area tarped last fall. I uh, There's actually waist high grass here so I cut it down with the lawnmower threw tarps down. You can see more tarps up there. I'm hoping to get rid of most of these tarps in the next week or two because it's a mess here and I don't like to have it in the mess but I needed them down to kill the grass. But yeah I just took the bucket of the tractor we're scooping it. The top uh, stuff there getting rid of all that grass and nasty stuff Kristen dug in some holes this morning here so I think we're doing them about three feet apart and maybe a bit more than that probably do them a little closer but that's okay and then what I'm going to be doing too is uh, I need to get a whole bunch of wood chips I'm just wood chip this place like nobody's business so I don't have to deal with cutting any grass and I'll be chipped up nicely and add more nutrients to the ground so right here I've got my blueberry bushes, some of them anyways, and I've got some growing mix. It's 95% peat moss. Ideally I want to do all peat moss, but the hardware store didn't have any. They don't get any till next week. Like I said, it's supposed to rain, so I want to get these in the ground now so I don't have to water them in myself. Uh, the feed store didn't have peat moss anymore because apparently peat moss has gone up in price a lot. Double in price. It used to be like 14 bucks for a bale. I was like 20 bucks, so they're not carrying it. But anyways, this is my next best thing, is 95% peat moss, which should help. So we're gonna start digging these in and uh, getting some peat moss in. So we'll get that set up and we'll get it rocking. So I'm gonna bring this right over here, the big bag here. I was told it would expand quite a bit once I open it up. Sorry for the loud traffic, I'm right by the highway here, so it's gonna be pretty loud. how we're going to be doing this because it's packed in pretty good. I might just go through and just toss a little bit in. As I... I'm probably going to put in like half a bucket's worth of peat moss. I really want to drop the acidity of the soil here. Blueberries love acidic soil. Whoa. Alright, so what we're going to do, since we've got two started already, let's just grab two bushes here. I'm just going to drop them in here. And we're just going to backfill with some of the dirt here. Should have brought a rake down with me. Just break it up, get it in. And later on too, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a bunch of compost down. I just do top dressing compost. But right now, our compost pile is super wet over there. I can't get through the tractor to use a bucket to pick it up with. So uh, that's gonna have to wait. But yeah, I wanna get these in before the rain hits so I don't have to water them. I'm all about free watering. Okay, on to the next. Alright, so what we're going to do, since we've got two started already, let's just grab two bushes here. I'm just going to drop them in here. And we're just going to backfill with some of the dirt here. Should have brought a rake down with me. Just break it up, get it in. And later on too, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a bunch of compost down. I just do top dressing compost. But right now, our compost pile is super wet over there. I can't get through the tractor to use a bucket to pick it up with. So uh, that's going to have to wait. But yeah, I want to get these in before the rain hits so I don't have to water them. I'm all about free watering. 
Okay, on to the next. I'd rather put more than less in with peat moss. I'd rather get the soil acidified nicely. So that the blueberries take off. They do really do like that acidic soil. I think your ideal is about four, four, four and a half pH. You have to double check that. I'm not 100% sure, but if I recall, that's just going by memory. I never check my pH. I just dig them in and let it rip. It's nice here that we have nice sandy soil too. They like well-drained soil. Ideally, I like to have a you pick blueberry farm sometime in the next year or two if we can get enough berries producing. Then we have at least 100 150 bushes that we can put in, which is pretty awesome. Plus, I'll be able to save a bunch for ourselves for the winter, freeze them up, dry them up. Making sure when you do this too, you want to make sure that the hole is bigger than your root system so that the roots sit nicely in to your hole here. Now where we got them to, there's a lot of grass and quack grass on them. We transplanted them, so I've been trying to shake off all that extra grass so it doesn't go back into where I just dug all that grass up. And possibly what I'll do too, I'll come back, if I have enough peat moss in the end, I'll come back and top dress everything too to really help acidify the soil to give the blueberries the best chance of producing this year. the best chance of producing this year. Going through the tractor this morning, trying to do another row there, and I kind of drove over some of these holes by mistake here, so I retake some of them. There we go. So I'm doing a bit of shovels. Worth pull. It's pretty quick and easy once you have it all prepped up and ready to go. Now 
before transplant and then when they're still dormant, they're starting to bud a little bit. Okay, I've got the first row planted in here. It's probably actually a pretty good spacing because by the time they start getting bigger, they'll probably get a lot closer together and push out. So I'm probably gonna put one more up here actually. I'll take one more in here and end here. Four rows there. So I'm hoping to get in at least, like I said, 100, 150 if I can. See how many we have in this row here. But I may have to do another row over there too, which is fine because hey, we'll have us blueberries. Anyways, there you go, guys. So, a few things when you're transplanting blueberries, like I said, make sure the acidic, so using peat moss. If you have lots of pine needles, pine chips, you can use that as well. But I always, I find the peat moss is way better. Put it underneath the roots, then chop dress with your peat moss. Sorry, then chop dress with your pine needles and your pine wood chips. And then as well, I'm put, gonna put a little bit of compost on top, just give it a little bit of nutrients as well. I read somewhere years ago not to use horse manure because uh, there's something in it that the blueberries don't like, so I avoid that. But that's gonna be good. And then once we get this all planted in, I'll come back, do another video, and show you it with it all hopefully all wood chipped up. We have to pour a wood chipper if our wood guy doesn't bring us enough chips soon so we can get this all done. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. We will see you out there and have a great day. Happy gardening.